What was that? Like, like a chair dragging yeah. or something? Music box. Music box. Ball for I people. wonder if they didn't like you in there. It's like right over here. It sounded like it came from this room. Yeah. Music box. Music, Music box just went off behind me. It's like slow footsteps. Yeah. All right, guys. Welcome back. We are here. Finally, we have returned the Winchester Mystery House, guys. We are super excited to be back here. When we were here in February, we had a lot of really, really cool activities, so we cannot wait to get back in this house, film another episode, and this time, actually be able to put it out for you guys. Yeah, so if you didn't know, we got robbed last time we filmed out here, and we lost all the footage, unfortunately, but we are back. Um, I'm really excited to see what we get, because last time we were here, we had uh, residual activity, we had intelligent activity, I mean, just being in the house is amazing. You guys need to visit it if you haven't already. You need to just see it, it's yeah. amazing. We're gonna plug all their stuff, their, yeah. their socials, everything down below. They are awesome to work with here. They're a ton of fun. This place is unbelievable. The work they've done to keep this place up and running is amazing. The house is beautiful. I cannot wait to get inside and try to experience the same activity we did last time. Yeah. And maybe try to see if we can get you know, some more clear answers as to who's here. Is Sarah still here? Is she the one that's haunting most of this house? Or is this some of her workers? Is it mostly residual or is it mostly intelligent? Right. Maybe we can try to get to the bottom of these uh, questions, but uh, I think we need to get inside. Let's grab our stuff and let's go. Let's do it. All right, guys, really quick, before we get into the investigation, we just want to run you through the history of the Winchester Mystery House. Now, the story all begins when Sarah Pardee married William Winchester in 1862. William was the heir to the Winchester Repeating Arms Company. William and Sarah would have one child together, a daughter named Annie, but unfortunately she passed away in 1866, just a month after childbirth. Now this would be just the start of the tragedies that would befall Sarah during her lifetime. In 1880, she would lose her mother and her father-in-law in very short succession, followed by the passing of her husband William in March of 1881 from tuberculosis. After his passing, she inherited a fortune of about $20 million and 50% of the stock of the Winchester Repeating Arms Company. Four years later, she moved from New Haven, Connecticut, out here to California. Now, there's a couple of reasons why she could have made this move. The first being that Sarah was a known spiritualist. It is believed that she may have gone to see a medium to kind of get a reading on why all these bad things have been happening to her. And the medium told her she had been cursed by all the people killed by the Winchester rifle. The only way to solve this problem was to move out west and to continuously build a mansion to confuse the spirits so they would leave her alone. The other possibility is that a doctor told Sarah to move out here. The warmer, drier temperatures would have been much better for her. She suffered really badly from arthritis. Either way, once she moved out here, she bought an eight bedroom farmhouse in San Jose and immediately started construction. Now construction would continue on that eight bedroom farmhouse all the way until Sarah's passing, September 5th of 1922, to turn it into the mansion that we all know today, which consisted of 24,000 square feet, 10,000 windows, 2,000 doors, 160 rooms, 52 skylights, 47 stairways and fireplaces, 17 chimneys, 13 bathrooms, six kitchens, and one shower. Now, this place was built for a price tag of about $5 million in her time, which equates to about $71 million today. The Winchester Mystery House is reportedly one of the most haunted houses in the entire world. This makes sense, right? Sarah was a known spiritualist. She was even known to hold seances in a designated room in this house. Now, the reports of paranormal activity actually covered the entirety of this whole mansion. Both guests and workers have reported seeing shadow figures being touched, seeing apparitions, hearing phantom footsteps and voices. It basically runs the gamut of paranormal activity in this place. It has been covered by Destination Fear, Ghost Adventures, pretty much any paranormal TV show you can think of has come out here. We were out here once already this year, as you guys know, and we had some really, really cool activity. Both of those nights we experienced residual hauntings and intelligent hauntings. So I'm really excited to get back in there tonight, see if any of the spirits remember us and kind of see what we get this time, if it's any different. Absolutely. I mean, Sarah Winchester, the matron of the house, was known to be very loving and comforting towards her staff in life and is said to be in death as well. So hopefully we can make some contact with her tonight as we did last time and see who wants to talk to us tonight. I think we just get our stuff. We, uh, we get in there and see who we can talk to. Let's do it. Really quick guys, before we get into the video, we wanna show you something that we uncovered actually filming B-roll at Winchester. So at this point of the night, it's about 7.05. The house itself closes at 5 p.m. 
the gates to the gardens out front are locked 6 p.m. So nobody can be on the property after 6 p.m. unless you're there for special permit filming. Um, we were actually outside filming uh, exterior B-roll when the gates were locked. Dylan actually got locked out in the parking lot and had to be let back in for the filming. So there was nobody else there. So the only people on the property were Steve, myself, and our guides from Winchester, Amelia and Ashley. So Steve's actually in the Hall of Fire um, filming B-roll. Myself, Amelia, and Ashley were in the South Conservatory. Yeah, they're right in the room next to me. There's a doorway to my left that they are sitting in. You can hear them talking um, and laughing in the video actually while we're filming the B-roll. They're looking at the entrance to this sun porch hallway that connects the South Conservatory to Sarah's bedroom. Now I'm walking down the hall of fire, not really paying attention, just kind of getting the shot as I'm walking, not looking um, towards the end of the hall. I'm looking more at the camera and on the camera, we capture what looks to be a figure walk by the outside window to the sun porch um, heading towards Sarah's room. If you look closely, it looks like she has her hair up in a bun um, and she's walking towards Sarah's room. Now, the crazy thing is the first time I saw it, I was playing the video without any audio because it's just B-roll, so I don't need the audio. Um, the person in the video appears to turn and look back towards the South Conservatory where you guys are sitting. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was Amelia or Ashley at first, so I actually texted them and asked them if either of them had left the group at any point um, to go anywhere else in the house, and they hadn't. I played it back with audio later and you can actually hear them all talking and laughing in the room right to my left. So as we play this, um, we're gonna point out a couple things. As she's walking by, as you can see right there, um, it's quick. As she just pans through the windows as she's going towards Sarah's bedroom. And again, it looks like she turns and looks back in your direction, almost as if she can hear you guys. Right, I think it's Amelia actually laughing you can hear in the background. It's almost like whoever's walking in this hallway reacts to her yeah. um, laughing. And then continues on. Now the weird thing about it is, the movement almost doesn't look natural. You get a little better look there as it's zoomed in. Um, she's moving quickly and you can see it almost looks like a bun in her hair and she's turned and as she's walking, it's just an unnatural movement that she does um, as she walks by. And I play it here a couple more times, slowed down so you guys can see a little bit better. But it's a clear figure. I mean, it's a solid figure of somebody walking by the windows at the end of the hall. The thing that blew me away the most is that the three of us were sitting at the entrance of this hallway. We didn't see anything, but somehow we captured this on footage. Yeah, there was no way physically for anybody to be in that hallway heading that direction without these guys seeing that person. There was no other way to get in that hallway and go towards Sarah's bedroom without being seen by them. They were right in the room next to it. Um, I didn't hear any footsteps down there. I didn't see anybody continue on to the next room on the other side, Sarah's bedroom. So we really don't know uh, who this could be. We sent it over to them. They're blown away by it. They're gonna use it on their website and uh, promote some of their tours and stuff with it. It's a really, really interesting capture because again, we know nobody else was on the property. Absolutely nobody else was there. They have security guards in the parking lot, manning the parking lot to make sure no cars are in and out after they close. It's just really bizarre. I think it's a really cool find and we figured we'd uh, show it to you guys so you can try to figure out who it is, what it is, um, but just get into the video. Yeah, it's it's something that was headed towards Sarah's room and we had some really interesting activity in Sarah's room, yeah. um, which you guys are about to see. So we're gonna jump right in now. We're gonna start in Sarah's bedroom. Uh, so hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, so we're starting out in Sarah's room. We're gonna hop straight into DR60 session, see if we can get her voice or you know one of the workers' voices who are in here um, directly answering our questions. We also have the uh, tripwire set out, the EMF rope, and the music box is right behind us. So maybe if they want to interact with those, if that's easier, they can do that as well. Yeah, we had but, really cool activity last time we were here. Um, so I figured, you know, like you said, let's jump in. Let's do yeah. some EVPs, um, see if we can get her to communicate with us, see if we can get her, see if she remembers us from right. a couple months ago. Um, we'll kind of go from there. We'll see if she wants to talk to us, see if we can end up getting her to use some of this other stuff. But if not, we can just see if we can get her to do some EVPs with us. Um, and we also have the spear box. We can do an open spear box session as well, so we can try to get some answers through that. Before moving on, there's a lot of square footage here to cover, so we are going to move on to the next room here in a little bit. But let's do some EVPs. I'll see if we can get it to interact with us, and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, let's do it. Right. I'm going to go over here by her bed. Do you want to start with a quiet one? Yeah, see if they have anything to say yeah. right off the bat. Yeah. So really quick, if Sarah's in here, if there's a worker in here, anyone else who would have lived or worked in the house, my name is Dylan, this is Steve. We're just here to talk to you. I know it's late, I know it's kind of weird. We don't mean any disrespect. We just want to learn the history of the house, learn your life story, maybe get to know you a little bit more. So if you come up and talk into these little devices we have in our hands, we can hear your voice. So we're going to give you some time right now Say whatever's on your mind. Ready? Yep. All right. Three, two, one.
three, two, one. All right. Let's see. Let's see what we got here, huh? Hey. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's like it was louder. Hey. Mm -hmm. Play that back. Play that back. I thought I said, get out of this room. It's like, get out of this room. Of this room. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. It does sound like it says like, hey, get out of this room. Though. Which makes sense though, because the workers were very protective of Sarah. Right. And it's late. Yeah. We're in her bedroom. She doesn't know us. Right. Um, makes sense. Sorry, Sarah. We're Sorry. just here to talk to you. I don't mean any disrespect. Let's see if we got anything on this one. Yeah. Oh, play that. What do you think it says? It's like, it's the guys. It's, it's, it's the guys. Wait, hold on. It's like, it's the I boys, swear, it's I, no, the I guys. swear to God, I think it's, I swear to God, I think it says, it's the guys. Yeah. They were here in February. I swear to God, listen to this. They were here in February? Yeah, February, yeah. It's like February? Play it again. They were here in February? And then nothing. Huh, weird. I don't know. Well, I mean, that answers the question. Do you remember? Yeah. It's the guys. They were here in February. That was weird. The it's though. the guys is clear. Yeah. But then the other one says, "Get out of this hey, room." Hey, get out now. of this room. Yeah. So it's like, okay, maybe that's a worker. Right. And Sarah's like, hey, it's the guys. They were here in February. Right. So it's two different. Yeah. Like, that's hey, actually really. You know what I mean? Like, hey, it's they like were, a conversation. Right. We both picked up a different portion of it. Right. She's. They're saying, hey, get out. Or it could be Sarah saying, hey, get out. Somebody else say, hey, it's the guys. They were here in February. Right. Weird. That is really bizarre. That's actually super weird. It's kind of cool though. Seems yeah. like they kind of remember us, which is strange. I think we do a couple questions. Let's do some questions now. Um, I'm gonna go over here by her bed, like right up next to it. Yeah. Um, yeah, all right. Over here. Okay, you ready? Do some yeah. questions. One, two, three. Sarah, did we just hear your voice? Do you remember our friends who were here with us in February? If you remember us, can you say our names or one of our names? Can you give us your name? What you did here? One, two, three. What was all that? That was loud. What was all that? Yeah. 
That would sound like either door closing and then or like movement. Yeah, some sort of movement. It was like right over. It sounded like it came from this room. Yeah, literally right here. Which is the music box is on the ground right here, so that would have gone off. That literally sounded like it came from in this room. It was a lot of movement. Yeah, it was quick too. Yeah, that was a lot of movement. That was weird. That literally sounded like somebody was like walking around here, like closing doors, moving, moving something. And then it just stopped. Like that sounded like somebody was in this room. Yeah, I don't know. That's All right, bizarre. let's play this back. That was weird. Next time we do questions, we'll have somebody stand like right, right in there. that doorway. Yeah. All right, right, let's see. What? That was my voice. Swear to God. Listen to that. Listen to that. That was my voice. Did we just hear your voice? That it's was like my raspy. voice. That was my voice. You hear that? Yeah. That's that was my voice. Really clear, actually. Put it back. Yeah. Did I say? Hold on. I can't quite get that quiet. was my voice. That was really Dude, clear. that's like so raspy. clear. That's actually wild though. Yeah. That's so clear. Sarah, did we just hear your voice? That was my voice. That was weird. That's yeah. actually crazy. And that all of that movement and yeah. the doors and stuff, that's actually nuts. And I can't say, like the next two questions, there was definitely There's something. Responses. I just can't make it out. No. I might be able to hear better when I put it on the headphones and stuff and like listen later. Yeah. But that was, was clear. That first one's clear. Yeah. That's crazy actually. Well, let's see what you got. Yeah. Do you remember our friend? Play that back. Do that again. Play that again. Oh my God, what does that say? It's a lot quieter. I can't tell what that That was clear, but there's definitely something after that first question on yours as well. It sounds yeah. different. Yeah, a little it's quieter. A lot, a lot quieter. Yeah. It sounds like a male voice. Yeah, that's bizarre. But the movement. That was my voice. The movement in that room, the bang, that was my voice. Even like when I was playing that back, there was, there was a lot of noise back yeah. there, yeah. So I think we do a couple more questions um, for sure. Yeah. I would go stand by that door. See if we can get whoever's in there to yeah. talk to us. Go stand by that door. I'm going to stand back over here again because yeah. that's where I got that. So I'm going to go back over here by her bed. That was actually crazy. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Sarah, thank you for talking to us. If this is Sarah, can you say Winchester? Who's in this room next to me? 
Can you give us your name? Did you just make another noise? Do you like having people come in to talk to you? Sarah, what was your husband's name? What made you the happiest in life? One, two, three. There was another couple noises during yeah. that. That one was a pretty loud thud. Yeah. Can you tell if it was above us? I don't know. All right, let's see. Yeah, yeah, that was me. Thank you for talking to us. Is this Eric yeah. Can we say Winchester? Did you just make a little noise? Say that. That was, say, me. that was me. Winchester? Did you just make a little noise? Okay. That, I think that said it though. That was loud. Screamed William? Yeah. That's scream William? Yeah. William! Well, yeah, that dude. Wow. That's actually crazy. Because, like, that's probably a. Uh, a really a, sensitive right, topic. Right, right. Like a point of anger and sadness, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, she probably felt robbed of. Everything. She had the fairy tale story. Right. And then she everything. Had everything. Yeah. And then everything's gone within 15 years. Her daughter, her mother, her father in law, and her husband gone. Yeah. It's crazy. That's awful. That, that was me, though. I, that, three times in a row. That was yeah. me. That was me. Which proves intelligence. Like, 100%. a lot of people say that there's only residual activity right. here, but this proves Everything so far has been intelligent yeah. in this room. Every single thing has been intelligent in this room. Sarah is in this room. Sarah, I mean, she's talking to us right, right now. She's answering our questions on cue. That's, that William, though, that's is crazy. crazy. I said, yo, was that you making noises? Like, that was me. Both times. Yeah, that's my bad. That was me. That's uh, nuts. Let's see if I got anything in this one. Yes, yeah. Do you like having people come in to talk to you? I don't care. Play that back. It's really like, I don't care. I heard the don't. Do you like having people come in to talk to you? I don't yeah. care. Let me play that back. What makes you the happiest in life? Almost, I almost want to say it says family. It's three A syllables. Family. Yeah. What makes you the happiest in life? Family. family. 
Weird. Which, if you think about it, in the ballroom, it, it's crazy. She had a safe that was behind like right. six different doors. Yep. The three things in there were all related to her family. Yep. They expected to find like a bunch of gold yep. and money. money and stuff. Yep. And it was just family, like heirlooms. Heirlooms, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I'm fairly confident in saying Sarah's in this room yeah. talking to us right now, answering direct questions on command, intelligent yeah. answers, not just talking. There was a conversation at the beginning, two separate right. people. One of them, right off the bat, we thought was Sarah, and she's saying, yeah, that's me. That was my voice. This, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this is my room, this is where I am. She's kind of like, well, why wouldn't I be here? And she has the same personality in death as right. in life. Right. Like, she's very timid, yeah. but she's also very stern. She's like, that this was me. House. Yeah. yeah, she's like, that was me, that right. was my voice. She's not threatening us, she's not telling right. us to get out. The William, the scream of it, that's just emotion, right? Yeah. Like, that's not, threatening that's not trying to scare us that's just the emotion of it i right. mean she went through a lot i don't know what a weird session what a weird session it's been weird super intelligent and none of the equipment's gone off mm -mm. thuds bangs sounds like movement footsteps in there doors closing yeah. very intelligent responses on the evps like as you none said of that, this stuff's what? going on i just got chills actually i that actually just got picture i really just got goosebumps i said none of that stuff's gone off wouldn't you know it the literally NFL. next door picture dude that gave me goosebumps actually that was kind of cool can you set that off one more time for me, please? Yes, Sarah, can you go up and touch one of these lights again, if that's you? You walking around? That was really weird. That was actually crazy. It hasn't gone off the whole time. That's wild. Huh. What a weird start. Yeah. What a weird start. Picked right off again, right from where we left off though. Yeah. Intelligent activity. I mean, this, she is 100% answering our questions right now. Yeah. It's the same voice saying the same thing. That was me. That was my voice. Right. That's crazy. That's crazy. Sarah, thank you very much. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you for welcoming us into your home. We're all the way from New York. We came here to talk to you. So thank you. We're going to go talk to other people in your house now. You're more than welcome to join us. You can walk around with us, show us your house. We'd love to interact with you more throughout the night if you're willing to talk with us. You can introduce us to your workers, any of your family that may be here, Zip, your dog. We love dogs. Dog is pretty great. We're gonna move on now. We're gonna go to a different area. But like I said, you're more than welcome to come with us, okay? That's crazy. That is really weird. The intelligence on those EVPs is blowing my mind. Yeah. All right, let's move on to a different spot. Yeah. Um, got a lot of ground to cover. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. we're going to break out a bunch of the other equipment. We'll use the music block EMF rope again, but we got a bunch of stuff with us, so we'll put that back out um, and see what we can get in this next spot. And uh, we'll just go from there. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys, we moved up a floor. We are now in the Hall of Fire. This area had a ton of different heat sources for Sarah. She would come in here on the days her arthritis was really, really bad and just lay down on the ground and let the heat kind of soothe her body. Um, when we were here in February, we had a lot of really good activity in here. So what we have, we have the millimeter set up. Oh. That's the REM. Yeah. That's the temperature on the REM. So both are going on. So we have the REM over there, a MEL here, another MEL behind Dylan, and then another REM down the hall. So we have one each way, all the way through the hallway. We have the EDI directly behind me. We have the EMF rope right here, and we also have the music box back in this room as well. Yep. So we're gonna kind of do both of these rooms right now, the hall fire and uh, this up here, this room here. Yeah, so we had some crazy stuff last time. Um, I mean, a lot of residual stuff around us, but also intelligent device interaction, as we've already seen. So this is Marion's suite up here. Again, both are going awesome. well. Are you excited to talk to us? If you're excited to talk to us, can you touch the top of this again? So it lights up and makes noise? It's a little bit different than what you're doing. Can you grab that top bar that comes out of it? There's four items in this hallway that all have that. Music box. Music. music box just went off behind me. Music box just went off behind me. Hashtag surrounded. Sarah, did you follow us upstairs? Did you come up here to talk to us? If you did, can you set off one of our devices right now? Doesn't matter which one. There we go. Yeah. That one down there. Thank you. 
Can you step away? Just so that stops going off? I'm going to ask you another... Thank you. Are you just protecting the house? Or are you interested in seeing what we're doing? We mean no disrespect by coming in here and asking you questions. We just want to learn and interact with you. What was that? What was that? What was that? Something like a chair dragging yeah. or something? Or like a, I couldn't tell if it was wood, like a chair dragging on the floor, or if it was like a hmm. Yeah. If you just made a noise out there, can you knock on the wall? Not quite. That's a rim. Can you knock like this? When we were here in February, I saw something move behind Chris right in this room. Yeah. He was standing right here by the stairs with his back to this room. We were up here and I watched something walk behind him. I could see it between his legs, like the movement and the, the shadow. Yeah. Um, and we were having a ton of activity up here at that point. So it was kind of crazy. Whoever was up here a minute ago and stepped in front of this device. The music box. Can you yeah. do it again? And it just did it. Yep. That's unreal. Yes. Thank you. Can you do that again for me? Whoever's up here? That's pretty crazy. Thank you. Guys, there's, there's nothing. another knockout here too. There's nothing out there. That's absolutely crazy. Let's step back, give it a little more space. Yeah. Here, I gave you a little more room. Can you make that go off again so it plays music? You just gotta step in front of it. Or can you set off your favorite device? Whatever is easiest for, for you to use. You can come up and grab one of these devices on the ground. They just light up, change colors, and make some noise. Is that something you can do for us? Sarah, are you up here? It's okay if you followed us up. We invited you. Give us a tour of your home. It's like faint footsteps. Mm. Like super faint of Out there. Can you step back from that so it stops making that noise, please? If you just step back a little bit, it'll stop and we know it's you. And you Immediately. You can hear us. Thank you. You're doing yeah. very good. We appreciate you interacting with us. We know it's probably strange. It's late. You don't know who we are. But we love the house. We love the history of it. Everything you did to make this place wonderful. It was weird. It went from us being like surrounded to very quiet. Quiet. But it's different when you're surrounded here, right? Like, yeah, it's not that it's not intimidating, right? It's not that intimidating, threatening feeling. Yeah. Is there anybody still up here with us? I say yes. I say so. Thank you. Did you work here? If you were, yep. Yeah. So you worked here for Sarah? Did you help build this house? Oh, music box. Music box. Multiple I people. I wonder if they didn't like you in there. Multiple people. Yeah. Multiple people. So there's more than one of you here right now. If there's multiple people here with us. Can you set off one of the devices? Or both of them? Whatever you can do. Just like you've been doing. Grab the top of this one. Just like that, yep. Literally on command. 
That's crazy. Thank you. Now, whoever's out in the other room, can you step in front of that device? What? On command. Again, that just shows how the intelligent, intelligent they are. The intelligent level of this activity. That's pinging. That's going crazy. Can you step back? Step back for a second so it stops. Okay, whoever's in the other room. How many people are here? Yeah, there's a lot. I'm like, just to show you how many colors that's hitting. Fucking, that's everything. Okay, can you step away from these for a second? Now, whoever's in the other room, can you step in front of that? So it plays music? Just, it likes this one. That almost, that's redlining. Is the other person still in the other room? Thank you. Can you step away for his footsteps over there? Who? Yeah. What was that? It was in that room over there. Yeah. It was like I could feel the vibra I could yeah. feel the vibration on the ground from those footsteps. I literally felt those footsteps on the ground. He's like, yep. It was like two or three distinct music box. What is happening? Is that like keys or like Oh, that was me. Oh. That noise was me. That was my watch. Thank you. There's, There's a lot going on. Right I was now. just gonna say that. Thank you. Can you step away from that device for a second? So it stops making that noise. We got a couple more questions for you. Thank you. He likes this one. He's like, yep. Got you. Whoever's in this room over here in the Marion suite, can you step in front of that device one more time for us? So plays me. Who's behind, behind you? Behind us, yeah. Who's behind you? Hashtag surrounded again. The but again, they're not intimidating. No. It's like they're curious. Well, you got to think how busy this place was. Yeah. Literally. Something just went off in there. I saw the reflection. I don't know if it was the EMF rope. I didn't hear the music box, but I saw the reflection of a light on this wall right here. So it was either the EMF rope or the music box went off and I just didn't hear it. Right. Yeah, I didn't hear the music box either. But think about how busy this place was. 24-7 construction. Yeah. I mean, nonstop. People loved it here too. Are you guys walking around going to work? It's okay. You can keep doing that. We're not trying to interrupt you. I can't believe. Whoa. Thank you. Can you step back so it stops? Just so we know you can hear us and that. You, yep. Okay. That's been consistently That's holding unreal. it though. That's unreal. Thank you. Do me a favor. Step back for a second until we ask you a question, please. Thank you. Did you enjoy working for Sarah? If you did, you can touch the top. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. She had the highest wages in Northern California. Yeah. She gave them three square meals a day. She gave housing to a yep. lot of them. She was one of the best employers you could yeah. have had at that time. Yep. Thank you. That's crazy. Okay, can you step back so we can ask you another question? You step back, it'll stop. Thank you. Okay, hold on. That's, that doesn't make any sense. If you can step back and just wait till we ask you a question. Thank you. Okay. They're hype. I said, yep. Again, it's redlining, it's and holding. It's, and it wasn't going off that no. whole time when we just were up here in the beginning. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can you step back? We just want to ask you another question. Step back for a second so it stops and we'll just wait till we ask you a question so we can get your answer, okay? Thank you so much. Did you live on the property? Okay. Did you have a family here? Thank you. Okay, step back for a second. Did you live in the house? Very quick responses yeah. to very, Thank very you. attentive. Step back, please. Did you work? Step back, please. Thank you. We just need to wait till we ask a question. That way we can know what you're answering. Footsteps again. Over there, yeah. Dude, I don't understand. I, I mean, I literally, I felt those footsteps on the ground. I yeah. felt them walk up. They were walking behind they were me. They loud. Oh, yeah. And yeah, there were two or three behind me. Yep. That's crazy. Thank you so much. You're doing amazing. We love talking to you. Can you stop back for a second? Did you work with Sarah personally? Did you see her on a day-to-day -day basis? 
Did you work the grounds? The gardens? Yep. That's cool. Thank you. Oh, wow. You're doing great. Step back, please. I said a 0. 0.5. Thank you. Were you the head groundskeeper? 0. 0.6. Yep. So you're the head gardener? 0. 0.7. What is causing all this energy? No reason. You were the head gardener here? Yeah. That's crazy. Who's back there? Yeah. That's crazy. Who's back there? Yeah. That's crazy. Who's back there? So like someone tapped on the window or something? That was like a knock on... That was loud. On the wood? I don't even know. Did you just knock on the window or something back there? Or do you know who did? Guys, it's a beautiful night out. It's a beautiful night out. It's not raining. No. It's not windy. So that went up to a point eight. Can you get the number on the top so right much here? Movement back here, right? Yeah. Now. Can you step back for a second just so we can listen? Point six. Yeah. Point five. five. It's going back down now. Point six. We think we can hear you walking around. Behind me, yeah. right here, again. Thank you. Step away, please. Or how about this? Can you touch the top of that one right over here? That yeah. red light? This one does the same thing. Lights up, makes noise, just the same. Can you grab it? Grab that top. Part of me almost wants to turn that off for a second and just listen. Yeah, because all these noises. We're going to turn this off for a second, okay? You're not in trouble. You didn't do anything wrong. We just want to be able to hear everybody else, too. Thank you. Thank you for talking to us with that. It's still at a point seven, though. You're doing amazing. That's crazy. Now whoever's up here. Yeah, this one's going off. It's moving down. Yeah. Can you grab the top of that? You turn this one off. I'll move down here. Can you can you grab the top of that one? It's the same as this one. That's the first time that one's gone off. Yeah. Real quick check. Is anybody up in the Marion suite still? If you're up in the Marion suite, can you step in front of that music box so it plays music? If not, can you knock on a wall, knock on a door? Whatever you can do to make your presence known. We're gonna move somewhere else here in a minute. Can you make a really loud noise for us before we do? Run down the hall, run up the stairs. Knock on a wall. Yell. Something that we know is you. You can walk into this room with us. That was weird. Yeah. But it's the same thing. It's like it comes in like little bursts, you know? And it's intelligent. Yeah, very, very intelligent. That music box is intelligent. This was intelligent. Yeah. On command stuff. Weird. But again, it falls right in line with what we experienced last time here. Yeah. A little bit of residual. A lot of intelligent, mm -hmm. willing to interact, not threatening. Very, very friendly. Very friendly. Very willing to talk. But curious. Like, right. they're surrounding us, not trying to intimidate right. us, like, kicking us out of the house. I mean, they could be surrounding us just because they're working. Yeah. There's absolutely. a lot going on here. They're just moving around, doing their job. You're doing an amazing job. This house is unbelievable. It's going to be around for a long time for people to enjoy. They say we go up to the employees' quarters um, where they would have hung out and kind of lounged and stayed. Yeah. We had some really cool stuff up there last, last time we were here with the shadows and all that. Yeah. So I think we get up there, we go back into EVPs again, we do some EVPs, maybe some sphere box up there. Um, See what we can get up there. Yeah, we'll still lay out some of this stuff, but I think we go back towards that kind of mode of communication and then we'll, uh, we'll move on and do an SS session after that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. 
Really quick guys, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you drop down below, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, because if we get 3,000 likes on this video, we're gonna head over to the UK to one of the UK's most haunted houses, the Ancient Ram Inn. So give us a like, let's get back into the investigation. All right guys, now we're up in the employee quarters. So basically, Sarah Winchester allowed the employees to have their own little break room up here, which was insane for the time. Again, she was probably the best employer you could have had during this time period. Um, so up here, the employees kind of hung out, smoked and joked, you know, got to hang out. So we're gonna try to see who wants to interact with us up here. We're gonna have the DR60s, we have the uh, EMF tripwire out, um, the music box, and uh, might try a spirit box session as well. And the thing with this area is, it was just as elaborate as the rest of the house. The crown molding, the detailing, mm -hmm. she spared no expenses, even up here is where it was just the employees' spots to hang out. Yep. Um, so it was really cool to see, you know, she took care of her employees and that's why they were so loyal to her um, even after death. So, but uh, a couple months ago we were here with some really good activity and we saw some shadows out this window, yep. um, which we thought was just a hallway, but it turns out it's like a 40 it's foot a drop. We were yeah. outside, so that was kind of crazy. We're gonna do some EVPs up here, like you said, the spirit box, and uh, hopefully we get whoever's up here to interact with us again. And yep. uh, we should go from there. Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. I'm going to go over here and turn the music box on quick. Yeah, guys, so Steve was just talking about the shadow figure that we saw. So we thought... It's going to calibrate. We thought someone was walking right here, but not possible. And guys, as it calibrates, one thing we want to point out to you. First of all, who's above us? Yeah. It's like we said downstairs. It's a nice night out. Who's over there? Can you step away for a second so that stops, please? Step back so it stops going off. Thank you. Did you like working for Sarah? Yeah. Guys, I just want to point out also, if you subscribe to Dylan or I, you could have been watching this live. We each have our lives going right now for our Instagrams. They're set up in this room. They're watching this live with us right now, guys. So they're experiencing it firsthand. You could have been there. So subscribe to us on Instagram, guys, don't so you miss don't miss this stuff. Does your family live on the property with you here? If they did, can you step in front of that device? Immediately. On command. Did you follow us from downstairs? Yes. So just to confirm, you were in the Hall of Fire with us just a moment ago? Or were you in Sarah's room with us? Did you follow us from... Yeah. That's interesting. So you've been following us around all night? From each floor? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's cool. We appreciate you hanging out with us and talking to us tonight. Do you like having visitors to talk to? To tell your story? Recount Did the history? Did you hear a knock? I heard like two knocks, like dun dun. I didn't hear that one, no. It was like right before you started talking. It sounded like it was behind me. Like back near where the music box is? Yeah, but like farther. Maybe out in that hallway. Did you just knock? Did Steve hear you? Can you do it again? Knock on, knock on a door, walk around, say, some, say something so we can hear you? Do you want to speak with us? Holding. Yeah. We have a couple other items with us that'll be able to record your voice. Then we'll be able to play it back and you can hear it. Is that something you want to do? If that's something you want to do, light that device up on the counter now. <laughs> the counter now. The counter now. Nailed it. Thank you. Step back. Thank you. 
Yeah, why don't we start with the spear box? Yeah. We'll do that for a handful of minutes and then we can move EVPs if we need to. Yeah. I'm going to turn that off while we do it though, just so we can hear it better. Right. But I think that's going to be a good move. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's do some spirit box and uh, see if we can get any responses. Is there anybody up here with us? Can you say hello? What's that little girl? Hi! Yeah. Hello? That was a, not, yeah. a woman's voice. Yeah, a little girl like a woman. Where what? Is Sarah here? Yeah. Sarah? I thought it said Sarah. So just to confirm, Sarah is here with us? Sarah, have you been following us around tonight? I slowed it down. Does that make it easier? That's better. That's, that's, that's better. It's not like a female again. Yeah. Can we get? Can we have your name? Yeah. Knock or a or yeah. Ilya. Who's in the hall? Us. This is all us. Did you work here? No. Did your parents work here? Let's speed it up again. Yeah. Can you speak? It's not like I said thank you. Yeah. It's like a male voice. Yeah, is it easier to talk when it's fast? Do you want us to use the recorders? Yeah. Yeah. You hear that? It's yeah. like a drawn out voice. Yeah. Is that the easiest way for you to communicate with us? Through the voice recorders? Yes. Well, the woman's voice, I can make out what it said though. I thought it said something about come to my, like, come to my room. Sarah, do you want us to come back down to your room? There's no noise over there. Yeah. Is it okay if I turn this off and we use the recorders? Is that okay? I don't know what that yeah. is. Like that's off. There's a little movement out there. It's like slow footsteps. Yeah, it sounds like it sounds like somebody's just kind of like slowly moving around out there. Yeah, it sounds heavy though. Yeah, right out in that hallway. Yeah, heavy like could be like work boots. Yeah, like work boots or something. Gardener. Do you want to speak to us with the voice recorders? Can you make a noise if you do? Knock on a wall, walk around, close the door. Here, we'll, we'll do recordings. The first one, we're going to let you speak. We're not going to say anything. It's all yours. Tell us whatever you want to tell us. Tell what it was like to live here, what it was like to work for Sarah, what you did. Whatever you want to tell us, now's your chance. Okay. Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, let's play these back and see if they said anything. Because the EVPs downstairs are pretty crazy. They were so. super intelligent, yeah. super clear, Very clear, same voice. 
I don't know. We'll see what we got. That's like, oh, <laughs> I what? I don't know. I can't tell what it says. It sounds like the beginning it sounds like I something. Wanted I, to. I, yeah, it was some. I don't know. I couldn't make it out though. Yeah, not too clear. No. Far away. It sounded distant. Yeah. Which makes sense because yeah. all the noises were out the there in the hallway. Yeah, let's see. What you got? Nothing. Pretty quiet on that one. Yeah. Why don't we do some questions? Um, why don't you? Why don't we each pick a door? Yeah. You go over that way, or I'll go over that way. Doesn't matter. Yeah. And then uh, somebody else stand over by this door. You saw the shadow over here, so I'll head towards. We'll do some questions. Yeah. Couple questions each? Yep. What was that? Questions each? Yep. What was that? Questions each? Yep. What was that? What? You didn't hear that? No. It's like a female voice. Over there? I couldn't tell where it came from. It looks like something like, like, hello? No, I didn't hear that. Oh, wow. That was weird. Hello? Kick the EMF robot. Hello? That looks sound like something like, like hello? No, I didn't hear it. Oh, I hope our mice got that. Alright, ready? Let's do a couple questions. Yeah. One, two, three. Did I just hear you say hello? Just to confirm, have you been following us around all night? What did you do? as work here for the house. Did you enjoy working here? One, two, three. That heard was that. loud. Yeah, heard that, that was out there. Yeah. That was right out there by you. Lucky yeah. you. There's a lot going on. All right, let's see. Did I just hear you say hello? What? Yes, it looks like it goes, yeah. Yes, you did. Did you hear that? Yeah. It's like, yes. And then the you did's loud. Yes, you did. Yeah. What? I can't tell that. Yeah, sounds clear. It sounds like it's like I kept the garden something. I heard garden. It's sure. like I kept the garden something. That's weird. Hold on. I can't. Ready? I kept the garden clean. Yeah, I thought it said like clean yeah. too. So like landscaping maybe? Like yeah. You know what I mean? Because they had, she had an 18 acre right garden out front it's massive yeah that's huge so like landscaping keeping everything neat and clean yeah. i mean sarah was ahead of her time they had yeah. dirt roads here but she had sidewalks and curbs like she was ahead of her time she kept everything right. neat and tidy here so that would have been very important to her and all the pictures that you can see on the tour which if you come on a tour which you should do it um the victorian gardens were not like gardens that we no. have today they were very overgrown, overgrown. Yeah. yeah they let them do that right Looked so full you and plentiful landscapers yeah 
Wow, that's, that's kind of cool, actually. But again, that's the intelligence. Yeah. That's the intelligence we've been experiencing all night with the EVPs. Like, the EVPs tonight have been on point, intelligent answers all the time. Right. Wild. Let's see what yours got. Weird. Nothing really clear on that one. No, but that that's bizarre, right? I like kept the I gardens kept clean. the gardens clean. But again, it's intelligent. Yeah. It's answering direct the questions. Responses. Answering the questions every time. Every time. I don't know. I think we do. What was that? Hello. There was movement out there. Yeah. There was literally just movement in that room. So that's where they would have had like their lounge. Yeah. You know, like a little table. Should we do a session in there? Yeah. Let's I go mean, do, that's where the noises. Yeah. Let's yeah. go do one EVP session in there real quick. And uh, then we'll move on to our last spot. Watch the music box. Hello. Are you guys hanging out in here? It's fine if you are. Just coming in to talk to you quick. Came to hang out. Do some questions? Yeah. All right. That's a voice. Hello? It was like a woman's voice. Though. What the hell was that? Honestly, I thought it said, sounds good. I said, we just came in here to talk to you a little bit. Sounds, sounds good. good. And then I heard that noise out there. All right. Well, sounds good. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. Yeah, that was loud. That voice came out of nowhere. What the hell? That was actually wild. A lot of like female voices there. Yeah, that was in the house. Yeah. That echoed. That was crazy. I cannot believe that. No. Okay. I mean, it makes sense if Sarah's following us around yeah. though. I just came in here to talk to me. She's like, Sounds good. Sick. Hell yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Did we just hear your voice? What did you do in this room? Can you say Winchester? Where should we go to wrap up the night? One, two, three. More movement. Yeah. It's always like in the next room though. Yeah. It's never, you know, it's not like it was down here somewhere. It's like it's been following us around, but always just staying like one room away. Keeping it One distance. room away. Yeah. Can we say Winchester? Can we say Winchester? Yeah. 100% says Winchester. Can we say Winchester? Went really quiet though, yeah. Winchester. What did I just say? Did you hear like that? Yeah.
I can't tell what that last says. Yeah, it's two words. Yeah. But, All right, yeah. let's see what yours got. Excuse me? What? I can't tell what that says. <laughs> Very loud. That's clear. Definitely a loud, like, yell of I don't some know what sort, that was, though. though. Yeah, yeah, I can't tell the sound. I don't know. Um, I think we move on. Yeah. We go do one more spot. We call it a night here at Winchester. And, uh, I mean, it's been crazy. The it's intelligence. Been really, really weird. Yeah. I think we wrap it up. We go do an Estes session and uh, we call it a night. Yeah. Let's go. All right, guys, if you've been enjoying this investigation tonight and these crazy intelligent EVPs we've been getting, don't forget, drop down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of these uploads we have coming up. We've been traveling some really, really cool haunted locations all across the country. You're not gonna wanna miss it. So make sure you subscribe. Now let's get into this as a session. All right, guys, now we're in the seance room. We're gonna wrap up the night in the seance room here with an Estes. So I'm gonna put on these headphones with a spirit box and uh, see what I can get. So Ashley, do you guys want to introduce yourselves quick? In case you guys want to ask any questions. Oh, yeah, I'm Amelia. I'm the marketing manager here at the Winchester Mystery House. <laughs> and I'm Ashley, I am the marketing assistant at the Winchester Mystery House. And they've been stuck here all night because of us. <laughs> so thank you guys. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Yeah. So he's going to go under and uh, like I said, you guys can ask if you want, ask questions. Awesome. Ask whatever you want to ask. All right, so now he can't hear us, so. He'll just say whatever he hears. So I said, Sarah. Sarah, have you been following us around tonight? To each floor in different room? They're right there. Who? Can you see us? No. So who do you see? Who's right there? Is it your workers? Do you see your family? Somebody said spirit. Do you see spirit? Yes. It's going back and forth between like a woman's voice and a man's voice. Do you know who the spirit is that you see? Have you seen them before? How many spirits do you see? It's weird, it's coming in through like jumbled. It's like jumbled portions of sentences. It's not like a full word. Can you try to talk a little clearer so he can understand you? Whatever you say to him, he'll repeat to us. Are you saying something? It's not like Guy's voice just said trying. It was like drawn out though. It was like trying. You're trying to speak clear? What do we do? You just come over here to Dylan. He's sitting on the ground here. And you talk to him, you tell him anything you want us to know, and he'll repeat it to us. Speak as loud as you can.
Do you understand? We're not going to be here too much longer tonight. So if you want to talk to us, if you want to talk to us, this might be your last chance for a while. Did you live here? Or did you just work here? I don't know what that was. Did you just knock on the wall? Around the ceiling? Was that you? Do you want us to use something else to talk to you? We can use the voice recorders again. You seem to like those. Out. We're getting out soon, we're gonna leave. We might try the voice recorders, okay? Might be easier for you to talk to us. All right, I'm gonna pull him out, we can use the voice recorders. He's gonna jump, because there's no good way to do this. <laughs> What's that? So, you're being kind of quiet. Yeah. Not a lot going on with that. It's um, really weird, it's like, it's not ever a full word, it would be like, Right. A third of a word. Well, I think based on everything tonight, they've been using the voice recorders yeah. the best. So why don't we do like a couple more sessions of that really quick? Yeah. See, see if we can get any final, final things. See how it goes. Ian, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and start turning on the lights. Down. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Yes. Good luck. Yes. Oh, smart. There you go. All right, we're gonna wrap up in here in a minute. All right, so. That was really weird though. Yeah, it's weird. It was quiet. You said a couple things that lined up pretty well. Yeah. Um, there was a weird knock. I couldn't tell if it was on this door or on this wall here. It was pretty loud. Oh. Um, but I asked you if it was you or if you did any of that and you didn't acknowledge it. So oh. I don't know. I think okay. we jump in, we do a couple. Um, see if we can get anybody in here to say goodnight, goodbye. Um, see if Sarah's still following us around. Cause the first thing you said was Sarah. Oh, okay. Um, so see if she's still hanging out or if it's a worker now or you know who it might be right and uh it was weird too because there's like a male voice and then a woman's voice would they were right talking over each other right which is kind of consistent with what we had all night right and you said uh spirits you see we asked i asked if you could see us and you said no right away no yeah but you said they're right there and i said well who do you see then and you said spirits which makes sense for and a seance room. Exactly. exactly. I just got chills. That's exactly. really cool. And actually. I was like, oh, like, do you know the spirits that you see? Have you seen them before? Yeah. Like, are they your family? Um, but you didn't really give me much to go on after that. But it was weird. It was, it, that was like your, your best streak there where you really kind of answered a couple things right in a row that made sense. So yeah, I think we go into some EVPs here and uh, we see kind of, uh, see what we can get here at the end of the night. And uh, then we'll call it a wrap on Winchester. Yeah, let's do it. All right. A couple questions, I think, right off the bat. Go from there. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Sarah, are you in the seance room with us right now? Who is the gentleman who was trying to talk to me? Are you the worker who's been following us around? You said you could see spirits. Are you having a seance right now? Are voice recorders the easiest for you, for you to use? Do you like using these? I hope you enjoyed talking to us tonight. Is it okay if we come back sometime and talk to you again?
Can you say good night or goodbye? One, two, three. Well, let's see what we got here. See if they uh, keep up their streak of super clear EPs. Yeah. Full seconds. Play that back. Yeah. What? Hold on. I think I know what that says. I think it says it's me, and then something seance today. Like seance I today. I did the seance. It's today. like it's me. Something seance today. Mm -hmm. It's like I did the yeah. seance today. Yeah. That was just seance. seance. Yeah. What? What is your hat? Uh, oh. I can't tell what that says. Good night. Yeah. Did you hear that? That's clear. Good night. Good, Good night. night. For sure. That's cool. That's cool. They had vocal tones, but they were yeah. like raspy. Yeah. Though. You know? Man. The EVPs tonight, man. Let's see what this one got. Yeah. Like yeah, it's like dun dun dun. I can't tell what that says. It's not like it says you have to. It's like you have to. It says something after it. Says, yeah. You'll have to. It's like you'll have to. The only uh, clear yeah. thing on that one was the you'll have you'll to. You'll have to. Is it okay if we come back and talk to you again? And you say, you'll have to. Yeah. Well, that's nice, I guess. I, I mean, inviting. That's kind of been the like, theme all night, though, yeah. right? Like, that was me. Yeah, that's my voice. Like, I'm just here bopping around, talking to you. Right. They're very positive. Here. Yeah. It's nothing yeah. in trying to intimidate you, you know? Some of the clearest EVPs I think we've ever gotten. Yeah. Like, especially with the same voice. Right. Same voice saying the same thing a couple times, mm -hmm. but definitely interacting and answering our questions throughout the night. And it's consistent with what we had last time. Too. Sarah followed us around the entire house last right. time too. 100%. Man, 
I don't know. What a wild night. It was super, super cool. Yeah. Very cool to be back here. Um, we're definitely coming back. I mean, this is not the only to. time we're coming back here. We have to come back and do more. There's so much more of this house yeah. to cover. The place is massive. We barely even scratch the surface. So yeah. we will be back. There will be more videos from the Winchester Mystery House. But that is a wrap on tonight, guys. Let's pack up. Let's get out of here and uh, let's get on to the next one. Let's do it. All right, guys, that is a wrap on our investigation of the Winchester Mystery House. I should say our second investigation because again, we have been here before, but we had a really crazy night. I mean, intelligent activity all throughout the night. I definitely think we answered that question. Yeah, I couldn't believe how clear some of those EVPs were. The same voice saying the same thing, yeah. answering our questions multiple times on command with the correct answers, yeah. what really blew my mind. I'm fairly confident Sarah is still here and she's hanging out in this house. Absolutely. I mean, it seemed like she followed us throughout the house too, which makes sense because it's her pride and joy. Yeah. You know, she wanted yeah. to make sure that we weren't going around and destroying it. Yeah. So. She's super know. welcoming though, right? Yeah. Like everybody here, all the spirits are very welcoming. There's nothing Absolutely. evil here. There's nothing, you know, negative. There's nothing mean. So everything here is super welcoming and it's awesome to experience. The house is unbelievable. Again, guys, we're going to plug everything right down here. Make sure you check them out. Follow them on all the social media, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all that good stuff. You will see us here again. We are going to be back here again for another video at some point. But you might see us here for some other stuff as well. So keep an eye out, guys. We're not done with the Winchester Mystery House yet this year. So keep your eye out, guys. It's time to get on the road, get on a plane, go back home, because we got more stuff to do. Yeah. You ready? Let's go. Let's uh, go. 